a lot of things that has went right and there's been a few things that may have went wrong yet still you made it through your week and I believe that sometimes we just go through our days we go through our nights and we are, we're not conscious that we are being protected at all times we don't take it's serious that you actually have someone who is for you. And whenever someone comes against you, they got you, you know? It's like we we forget the goodness of God and how if he, if he just took his hands off us for one moment, that we would be in such danger. But why is it that we forget that? Because we're human? Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we have to get to the point that we take God more seriously. And you get to the point where you don't just respect God, but you cherish Him. Have you ever had something in your life that meant so much to you? And it was taken from you. And somehow you got it back. Or even if you're still searching for it, you haven't gotten it back yet, but you sure do want it, right? You want it bad. God's supposed to be like that in your life. Like you ne- you should never want to lose him in your life, ever. If there's anything you could lose, it cannot be that. Never. Never God. Because he's so kind to you. He's so merciful and he's so graceful. It's like... He gives you such favor. You have no idea what kind of favor he gives to you in your life. It's like being in the presence of glory all the time. And you forget. He said, come unto me all ye that labor. All that pain and all that hurt. All your heavy burdens just just lay it on his bosom, you know. And we just want to take it and do it ourselves. Be like, well, you know, I, I, I did this today and I did that. Yeah, I made it through another week. Everybody goes through this. Thank God it's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Yeah, thank God it's Friday. But did you really thank God that it was Friday? You don't know what was going to happen to you on Monday or Tuesday or even Wednesday when it came to hump day. And you never know what the enemy had assigned for you to attack you or distract you when you had something you had to have done and God blocked it. You don't even know. It's the goodness and it's the greatness of God. It's like he's so beautiful. He's so merciful and he's so kind. And it's like, I've got my relationship with God to the point where I just don't want to let him down. I'm not doing this for duty as far as somebody telling me, so you got to, you know, with God, you can't do this, 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 and you need to be doing it. No, no, no. It, that's religion. It tells you one, two, three, four, five, six steps. Oh, my God. We got to get to the point where you love God. Like, fall in love with God so much till you don't want to disappoint him. Till it don't matter what come up against you, come to you, to attract you, to distract you, or to tempt you. You get to the point where it's not worth it. It's just not worth it to just leave God like that. He's been so good to me. You know how you can be with somebody and they've been good to you. And you, and this, and and I'm just going to talk to the ladies. And you married or you dating this person and you really care about this person they have been so good to you and I mean good better than you have ever known in your life and then here it comes distraction over here mm-hmm. and he's trying to distract you and attract you to come over here and he looks appetizing he looks nice all built got it going on you know like you like just like you like it just like you like it and you look over there you look over there and you say, yeah, he look good. Mm-mm. But baby, what I got over here, <laughs> I'm not going to risk that because he's been good to me. Okay. When somebody good to you, you don't hurt them. You don't disrespect them. You don't dishonor them. You do not treat people wrong when they doing you right. And I mean so right. And that's how God is. He treats you right. 
He is there when ain't nobody there. When everybody looks at you and calls you, it's over in your life. When they say it's a wrap, God say, no, it just started. See, when it comes down to God, we have to believe above what people believe. We have to go past what people are saying, what they're doing, you know, and we got to see it the way God sees it. See, God is so good, y'all. He's so good. I'm a witness. He is so good. He has been my best friend. And even when I have swayed and, and kind of slid to the left, trying to dip and dap over here even, and try to hang with him too at the same time, you know, I treated God like a side chick too sometimes. No, that's crazy to be calling and saying the side chick, but I'm saying you sometimes we want to be our oh, Lord help me. Sometimes we want full time benefits, just like a side chick when she first come in and she and the guy, her and the guy have an understanding that y'all are not gonna be together but only on Wednesday and Thursday. But she want to get Monday, Tuesday, and Friday in there too, and sometimes Saturday and Sunday and holidays. But you can't have that, and that's what we want with God. We want to treat God like He's a side chick or something. He's not a side chick, y'all. He's wifey, husband material. And we can't treat him no no different. And I feel like in my heart sometimes I want to cry. Because when I see when people do that, I get why you're doing it. But I be wishing you don't. Because you're wasting time. It's so expensive to do that. It's expensive to waste time and pleasures on things that don't even matter at the end of the day. At the end of your lifeline, you're going to wish so bad that you hadn't wasted that time. You would wish you had more time and spent more time with him. Reading your Bible, really understanding. It's you know, in the Bible it says, it says, um, to eat the scroll. He was talking to them about you know, just take the word and just digest it, you know. And so when I started to really, really dig into the word of God and I really started to apply it to my life, my whole world changed. I love God, y'all. I love God so much. And I'm not perfect by no means. But my heart, I long to just be right with God. At the end of the day, I just want to be right with God. I don't got time for the foolishness. I done did enough. My life is on the line right now. I love God more than I love anything. And sometimes the, 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 um, what do you call it? Sometimes the struggle be getting real because the things of the earth and things of God, sometimes they collide. But at the end of the day, I still find myself choosing God. And I hope you do too. Choose God over man. Choose God over woman. Choose God over everything. Because at the end of the day, that's who reigns. God does and nobody else. I love you. I'm praying for you. I'm seeking God for direction for you. Say, God, give him, give him direction, God. And I ask God to give you an encounter with him like no encounter you ever had before. So that when worries come around in this earth, you don't worry like that. When things come to torment you and try you and test you, you can resist. He said, resist the devil and he will flee. So if you never resist him, he ain't going nowhere. Resist the devil and he will flee. Love God. Love people. Love yourself. The kindest thing you can do is just get to know God first. And he will help you make better decisions. If you're frustrated about the things that's going on in your life, why is this, why is that, things didn't work out here, things didn't work out there, then you need to check yourself and say, I need to be consulting God. If you've been fighting against him, I don't need him in my life. I don't need him. I ain't never heard it. That ain't real. Try it and see. Try it and see. That's all I can tell you. Try it and see. You might find out a little bit different. Well, this has been a kindest moment from Lady Dr. P. And I will see you again on the next round. God bless you.